Kelsey and Kendra and today we're doing our May favorites yeah uh, we didn't do a April favorites because we really didn't have that many products that we want to put in a favorites because we had just bought new products and we haven't been using them that long at the time we've been using our stuff for some time now and yeah. we've narrowed it down to a few products so we're gonna do it a little bit different today normally we start out with makeup but today we're gonna start out with like hair stuff and then skincare and then we'll do makeup last you know just switch it up a little bit okay i guess i'll go ahead and go first and i have two hair products i want to share with you guys um these are them right here the first one is mixed cheeks well kendra used to use this um a, a couple years ago and she recently just started back using it and i just never really wanted to try it because i didn't think that a leave-in conditioner could give me hold so i'm just like that's not really gonna do anything for me but i was like okay kendra likes it so let me just try it to see how i like it and then i um Pick this up at the beauty supply store, our local beauty supply store for $17.99, but it's like $20 at Target. But um, I've been using it like every single time I've been doing my hair. I do my hair like twice a week because I've been deep conditioning twice a week now to try to get rid of my heat damage. And I absolutely love this stuff. Like this stuff is like bomb. Like I love it. Like I wasn't expecting it to work as good as it does. It gives your curls hold, but makes them like soft and like touchable. It doesn't really leave them like really crunchy. I was really surprised with this product. So I really, really like mixed chicks a lot. So I have been loving this stuff. Um, the next product is from Carol's Daughter. And this is the Sacred Tear Anti-Breakage and Anti-Frizz Leave-In Conditioner. It's just a water-based spray. It kind of looks like sweet tea, making me kind of thirsty. But um, it says for dry, no, for damaged, fragile, frizzy, and unruly hair, restores strength, prevents damage, smooths away frizz. I love this leave-in conditioner. This is just really good for like a curls refresher and just to like spray them before like I style my hair or something like that. Um, I have I have used quite a bit of this, but it's lasted me quite some time because I've been using it almost every single day. I've been like taking my hair out of a pineapple, so. Um, I really like this stuff and it smells absolutely amazing. Um, I picked these up at Target. I can't remember how much it was. How much I think was it was like $11.99. Yeah. $12. No more than $12. There. Yeah, no more than $12, I think. So this really, really, really works really well. And I know a lot of people are going to ask, they asked in my last, um, my makeup tutorial, could we do an updated curly hair routine? And honestly, guys. I don't know about that one. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to do one just because, honestly, guys, we use a lot of different products. And if that's the case, we're going to have to do, like, a curly hair routine for every single product that we try. Because the routine stays the same. The products change. Same thing with our straight hair. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly the same thing. So, we probably won't be doing an updated curly hair routine because it's, like, kind of, it's going to get kind of repetitive for you guys. Because you guys have seen us apply product to our curly hair a lot of times mm -hmm. so you're probably gonna get bored with that we might do like reviews and stuff like yeah. if you guys want to see that if you want to hear us talk more in depth about certain products yeah we can do that mm -hmm. but like a routine probably not it's pretty much the same like all of our curls demos and all that kind of stuff and like the as i am review the as i am review is a good example of what we both do yeah of how we apply our products yeah those are the two um hair products i have been loving for the month of may so i don't have any hair products because i just have so many i bought a lot of curly hair products recently and I love them all right now, so I didn't want to bring all those out of the bathroom and ramble on about all of them. So I have two like body care, and, well, body care products. And the first one is, well, both of them are from Lush. And this one is the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. And this is supposed to be for your face and body, but I've only used, I only use this on my body. And it's just a sea salt scrub. And I talked about this in my hygiene routine, if you guys have already checked that out if you haven't i'll link it down below i've been so into exfoliating my body like in the shower and i really as you can see it's almost gone like it's kind of ridiculous but i'm just obsessed with this stuff like the smell i love it it's kind of pricey this was like 35 dollars at lush but i just wanted to try it that bad because i heard so many good things about it so i just I wanted to get it that bad so it's amazing it says it's a vodka infused cocktail for bright fresh skin so the vodka is supposed to kill bacteria obviously is alcohol but i kind of like that because it makes me feel kind of squeaky clean once i rinse it off so i like that about this so the ocean salt um face and body scrub by lush and then another body care product is 
also from Lush. This is the Sympathy for the Skin Hand and Body Lotion. And I also talked about this in my hygiene routine video, but I just wanted to give, give it a shout out in the favorites video as well because I love it that much. And this smells like bananas. Kelsey's not that crazy about the smell. Every time I put it on, she's like, oh my God, I think I'm gonna be sick. I like the smell. Um, like I said, it's not for everybody. If you don't like this, a banana scent, like for on your body, um, I wouldn't recommend this. But for me, it's like a light scent. It's really not that strong to me because I guess I just like the smell so it doesn't really bother me. But as a body lotion, it's amazing. Like my skin has been so soft ever since I started using it. I still use my Nivea lotion. Kelsey's touching my leg right now. This is awkward. Um, but it has been making a difference because my legs have been like amazing. Like when we were in Alabama, I told my mama to touch my leg and she was like, ooh. <laughs> like it's it's that drastic. So I've been loving this and Kelsey hates the smell, but it does work. So I've been loving this as my body lotion. Okay, next I have a scrub to talk about as well. Um, This is from the Somerset toiletry company um this is the tropical fruits line this is the honeydew and lemon sugar scrub and i got this from tj maxx for only six dollars this huge thing is was six dollars this is 19.4 ounces um this stuff smells so good oh my gosh it smells uh, it smells so good it just smells amazing kind of make you thirsty a yeah, little bit it's like a fruity mm -hmm. like but um it's not too sweet to the point where it makes you sick, kind of like Kendra's lotion, with well, me personally. But um, yeah, this has done wonders for my legs and like my whole body because I, I have added this to my shower routine and I do this af after I lather my body, like after I bathe. I do this after that and I do this like twice a week, like two times a week. And it's just, it has done wonders for my skin. And I think it has like an oil in it. Every time I use this after I get out of the shower, I don't even have to put on lotion because the first time I used it when I got out of the shower, I was like, why are my legs so shiny when I just got out of the shower? It was kind of weird, but I like, I really like it. It's kind of like a two in one. So like those days where you don't want to um, put on lotion, you know, just use this in the shower. So when you get out, you're good to go. So I love this stuff. I got this at TJ Maxx. I'm not sure where else you can get it maybe you can order it online yeah i'll try to see if they have a website um and if not if you do see this in your tj maxx please pick it up like smell it at least um but the texture of it is really really good it definitely gets all the dead skin off your skin if that makes sense so yeah yeah okay so i love this stuff <laughs> i have one more um skin care product to talk about this is the visibly even foaming cleanser from neutrogena I love this cleanser. I'm almost out and like I I have never used a cleanser this quick. Maybe I've been using too much. I don't know, but um Kendra actually uh recommended me use this one. I think I saw the Care Washington commercial and Oh yeah. Uh that kind of got me on the visibly even kick. Because yeah. I just started using the moisturizer, but haven't been using it long enough yet, so okay. Well, anything Care Washington uses, I'm all about cause she's just flawless. I feel like it has definitely made a difference in my skin because you guys know I had that like, you know, crazy allergic reaction and I feel like this has helped my skin bounce back and just like clear up all together. So this definitely makes a different difference. So it works really well. Once again, this is the Visibly Even Foaming Cleanser from Neutrogena and I only use this in the morning because I still, uh, I only use my, you know, night relaxing clean and clear face wash and then this is my morning face wash. So I love this stuff and it does have little bitty beads in it as well to kind of like give you a little exfoliation which I like too. So I love this. Okay moving on to makeup. We're going to try not to ramble too much longer. So the first makeup item that I have is a foundation and this is the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. And I still want to try I didn't think I was going to like this that much honestly because Why? when I heard Sheer Matte I was like it's not going to be full coverage blah blah okay. blah and I was wrong so like I'm obsessed with this I probably won't try the sheer glow because nah, I'm just too nah. oily for that I have a natural, natural glow. glow we don't gotta pay for the glow yeah it's free <laughs> um, I love this because I don't really hear too many things about the matte version so I always wanted to try this and when I finally got my hands on it in New York I've been loving it ever since I started using it does it keep you as matte as the Kat Von D it does keep me matte like the Kat Von D but this consistency is a lot like more watery and thinner it's not as thick of a foundation even though Kat Von D doesn't really feel that thick on the skin but yeah. once you like like put it onto your hand this yeah. is a lot more watery yeah. 
which I like. That's why this is going to be one of my go-to foundations for summer. And I just absolutely love it. And I'm in the color Benares. I still don't know if I'm saying that name right. But yeah. And I, I thought I was never going to find my color in it. Because I hear a lot of people have trouble finding their color when it comes to like the NARS foundations. And it wasn't that hard for me to find mine surprisingly. So I really like this even though it's kind of pricey. But it's worth it to me. And I will be repurchasing this once it's all gone. And I'm also wearing it right now if you guys are wondering what foundation I'm wearing this and since we're on the topic of foundations i have two right here okay the first one i'm going to talk about is the l'oreal true match um i'm kind of surprised that i'm talking about this in a favorites video because i tried this like last year i think and i hated it it made me so oily like i felt like my makeup was like melting off of my face when i wore this but i like kept it kept haunting me i kept seeing it in like everybody's video l'oreal true match blah 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 i was like okay let me just give this stuff a try and plus it was like only eight dollars so i was like if i don't like it it's not that big of a deal so i tried it again and i absolutely love it i fell in love with it which was quite a surprise because i was not expecting to um and this is in the color cappuccino in eight i'm thinking they changed the form look because it doesn't work the same to me as it did the last time i tried it because i actually like it this time um because it does say now true color but I don't know if it's the color, but I did get a different color than I got last time. Last time, the color I got was kind of light, so that's another reason why I probably didn't like it as much. But also, the formula, it just seems different to me. It just, it's not as oily on my skin, I feel. And I am wearing it right now, if you guys are wondering. And I really do like it a lot. And it's just, like, really lightweight. It's not too thick. Although, this has not taken the place of my Revlon Nearly Naked, I still really, really like this. And I'm just surprised that I do so much. So, um... L'Oreal True Match and once again I'm the color Cappuccino N8 and I am wearing it today. The next foundation I'm going to talk about is a high-end foundation and this is the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I got this when we were in New York and I really really like this. I don't love it more than my Kat Von D though but this is good if you want if you don't want something as thick or as full coverage because this is it's not as full coverage. It does give you a really good coverage, but it's buildable. it's buildable. Yeah, because when you squirt it out, it's like super watery to me. It's like real lightweight because the first time I squirted it on my hand, it went running off my hand. That's why if you guys see me use this and my get ready with me with the orange lips, I um, squirt it on the top of a, a candle top, Bath & Body Works candle top, and it just works better that way. Um, the formula is just really lightweight. It's not heavy on the skin, which I like as well because that's one thing about me and Kendra when we wear makeup. I don't like to feel like I'm wearing makeup. Like, I hate the feeling of makeup on my face. That's why when we get home all the time, we're, like, in a take rush to take our makeup off. Like, But this is really lightweight. Like, I kind of forget that I have it on, which is good. So, I really do like this. This was a little bit on the pricey side, obviously. It is a high-end foundation. I think it was, like, $40, I think. Somewhere around that ballpark whatever um and i am in the color n178 and i think this is like the darkest shade i'm not sure yeah i think this is the darkest shade that they have so love this the next two makeup items i have are lipsticks and not a surprise because i've been on a mac kick lately and the lipsticks at mac are like my all-time favorite i will say that besides milani yeah. i think mac is like the best lipstick brand out there in my opinion and it's still kind of affordable it's not cheap but it's not super super expensive because yeah. there's some expensive lipsticks out there yeah but these like i love mac lipsticks and they smell so good i'm obsessed with the smell too and the two that i have are both neutral i picked these two because i've been grabbing for these the most and they're both neutrals and the first one is in the color cream in your coffee i just randomly saw this in the store i didn't even find it through like watching a video or anything like that i just randomly saw it in new york when we were in the soho and mac there and the other girls were getting stuff and i was just looking around and i was like um i already bought too much stuff so the next time i go to mac i'm gonna get that lipstick so that next time i did go buy it i bought it here um and it's just amazing this is a cream sheen and it's like a dark kind of mauvey nudie brownie color i don't even know how to describe it i am wearing it right now and it's like the perfect everyday color like this is probably going to be one of my staple MAC lipsticks. And this is in the permanent collection. So you guys can go get it whenever. And 
I feel like this would be so pretty like if your lighter is going to show up darker on you and if you're like my skin tone is going to show up like a medium like mauve brownie nudie color I just I'm obsessed and then the other color I have to show you is twig which is a satin and it's a little bit lighter you guys probably can't even tell the difference but I promise you it is a difference to me anyway um, this is twig and this is cream in your coffee and I've been grabbing for these like almost every day that I wear makeup when I don't want to wear like a bright lip so if you guys are on the hunt for like a good neutral lipstick like an everyday color please find get one of these or both of them because they are a must have for me and whenever, whenever uh, I run out I'm gonna go get both of these um, my next favorite is a powder um, powder foundation this is the makeup forever professional duo matte powder and I absolutely love this powder like I'm not like y'all this powder is bomb uh, I am in the color 218 um, I just love this powder so much. Um, the first time I tried it, I actually went to a wedding and it actually did keep me mad pretty much the whole time as far as I can remember. It kept me the maddest I have ever been. Let's just say that because if that's a word, I don't even know. It's my word, whatever. It's really hard for my skin and Kiana's skin to like stay matte all day because I have to touch it. We can try like the maddest foundation, the maddest powder. No matter what, we're still going to get like little oils like... T -zone. A little oily in the T-zone, especially the nose area. My mm -hmm. nose is always so glowing uh -huh. because like within two hours it gets shiny. So I always have to powder anyway. But this has definitely kept me the maddest, like I said, uh, over any other powder that I have tried. It doesn't feel too cakey on the skin, but it is full coverage, which I do like. So yeah, Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. This is my new favorite powder. So I will be getting another one of these. And my last beauty product, I don't know if it's a makeup item, but this is a lip product. This is from Bite Beauty, and it's the Agave Lip Mask. And I was kind of skeptical about getting this when I saw the price on Sephora's website. But I'm just so obsessed with having my lips smooth. Like, I really want to try a lip scrub next, but I've been loving, loving this. This is obviously from Sephora, and I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it, and they had nothing but good things to say. And when I, um... I put this on every night before I go to sleep. I also mention this in my hygiene routine. So it's just really, really nice. And it's super, super thick. Kelsey uses it sometimes too. Yeah. And I really like it. And I always have to put something on my lips at night before I go to sleep. Yeah. Always. Because I just don't want like cracked nasty lips. So, but this is like $26. Like I said, it's kind of pricey. But it's worth it to me. And if you guys are contemplating buying it, please go get it. It's like a must have for me now. So... Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Look. My last product is uh, another makeup product. It is the MAC Mineralized Blush and Love Thing. And I have been reaching for this blush every single day that I've been wearing makeup. Because no, I don't wear makeup every day. But I absolutely love this blush. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really like the like little gold flecks in it. It's just like just enough. It's not too much. Because sometimes the Milani Baked Blushes has like a little too much glitter disco from, ball yeah almost like a disco ball but this has just enough and the color is like the perfect mauve pink color even though a lot of people like mauve is not a word well you know what we mean mauve color um but this is just i feel like suits our skin tone mm -hmm. like so well yeah i feel like this will suit anybody's skin tone but especially depending on what look you want to go yeah with. anybody's skin tone especially brown skin because sometimes we can't really sometimes we can't really go for the like really really bright blushes so this is just like a happy medium it's not boring and it's not crazy it's like just perfect just perfect it's just right to me so i absolutely love this blush okay and our last favorite is not you know skincare makeup related it's like health related um this is our nutri bullet we got this like a month ago if you guys uh are subscribed to our vlog channel, channel then you mm -hmm. saw that we have been loving this thing um, a lifesaver yeah it is a lifesaver we've been using it literally every, every day. day we have a smoothie or two like every day yes like mm -hmm. it's that serious like we went to target by all the stuff like all the frozen fruit <laughs> yes. and like spinach kale like yeah this is a lifesaver if you guys don't have a neutral bullet you need one in your kitchen yeah like you need a toaster you need this <laughs> like i'm serious yeah we got ours from bed bath and beyond mm -hmm. for like a hundred dollars mm -hmm. and i'm like 
obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I'm so glad we got this mm -hmm. because it's super easy. It's way better than a blender, in my opinion. They it have works like faster. the um the Ninja blender. I heard those were really good. Mm -hmm. But um, we just wanted to try this, this first. This is more convenient. And this is really convenient. We have like mm -hmm. the one that comes with the two cups and this. So it's really convenient for us because it's just two of us and we always just this serves too so yeah. we always just make smoothies for each other and yeah it's just convenient or you can just switch sometimes you can switch the blade that it comes on the bottom and you can make your own like individual size it's yeah. just convenient mm -hmm. like yeah it is this has been a lifesaver so if you don't have a neutral bullet yeah and it blends amazingly like Super sometimes fast. like a regular blender still has like chunks left in it mm -hmm. but this does not it's everything mm -hmm. yeah we love it yeah so if you don't have a neutral bullet Go get you one. We keep saying our last favorite, but for real, this is our last favorite. Yeah. Um, <laughs> our last favorite is a song um, by Daddy Kane called Lemonade. If you have not heard yeah. it. Yeah. And if you guys don't know, they are back. Yeah, they're back together. Officially. Yeah. Even but, though it's down to three of them right now, but that's okay. Yeah, they're still hanging in there. Yes. But I think, they are amazing. Yeah, I don't think they're like anybody else is going to leave the group. But we're obsessed with them. I can't wait until their album comes out. I love Aubrey, Shannon, and Dawn. Like, yeah. They're probably like the best group since like TLC and Destiny's Child, honestly, yeah, for real. if not better. Like yeah. these girls can dance, sing, sing. sing. So if y'all don't, yeah, if y'all not on Danny Kane, y'all need to, you know, get back on it. Get back on it because we had both of their albums when they first came out. Like we were obsessed. So yeah. we've always been like right at our Danny Kane fans. Yeah. So with that being said, their new song is called Lemonade. And literally every time I get in the car, I find it and I play it. And that's the only thing we've been listening to yeah. every time we get in the car. I'm like, really, Kendra? We listen on to repeat. this again. Like, yeah. Every time I go off, I'm like, okay, I just listen to this song one more time real quick. <laughs> and then it go off and I'm like, okay, I'm going to listen to it one more time. So we just been listening to this the whole time in the car. <laughs> So that is just a little snippet of the song. Absolutely love it. It's not on iTunes yet. I'm just yeah, waiting it's not, it's for it. It's on SoundCloud though. It is. So yeah. Um, if you have not heard the song, you will absolutely fall in love with it. It's like I'll link this down below if y'all want to finish listening to it. Yeah, it's like the perfect summer song. Yes, perfect. like I turn the radio all the way up, <laughs> like all the way up. Yeah. Um, that completes our May favorites. Mm -hmm. Um. Hopefully this video was not too long for it you guys. It was so long. But it probably is. But who cares? You guys like our long videos anyway. But um, also we want to mention again, because Kendra did mention in her last video, mm -hmm. that we will be at Generation Beauty in LA um, next weekend. Actually, this coming well, weekend. Well, this coming weekend. Because today is Sunday. Yeah. So this coming weekend. Mm -hmm. um, it came so fast. We're leaving Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. It's just going to be me and Kendra this time all along by ourselves. We're going to have yeah. a lot of fun. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Cause normally we like bring the whole family with us, but it's just us this time. Yeah. So yeah, if you guys are gonna be in the LA area and you see us or you see somebody that might look like us, it's probably, it's probably us. us. So just come up and say, hey, uh, we'll have the website linked down below just in case you wanna buy tickets. Mm -hmm. So we're just super excited. It's always a good time every time we go, go to, to LA. LA yeah. So yeah, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. That's not gonna help you. No, it's it making it worse. Like amazing. Like I like I Kendra get it together. Okay. Don't no. open it, you know. Yes. Sorry. Oh my nose itcher. I promise I'm not picking a boot. Get out of the shower, I don't even have I... Hold <laughs> on. Act <laughs> like you've been drinking. Although this not <clears throat> Kelsey, sorry, I need something to drink. No, I'm good. Oh, oh crap, man. the battery finna die. Oh man, what? I gotta put this part out. Oh crap.